Well, if the cash is flowing out of your pocket, it's a liability. If the cash is flowing into your pocket, asset verb, it's an asset. People who are wealthy gather assets. The poor and middle classes, on the other hand, do not get wealthy as a result of liabilities that they mistake for assets. They don't buy income-generating assets because they don't understand the difference between assets and liabilities. In today's video, we'll talk about Robert Kiyosaki's thoughts on how to turn liabilities into assets. Stay tuned because we will discuss how you can start changing your life by turning all your liabilities into assets that will generate you continuous cash flow. So make sure to watch this video to the end. This is Financial Intellect, where we promote that to be finance savvy, we are your buddy. Now let's get right into the video. So what's the distinction between assets and liabilities? According to Rich Dad, the direction of cash flow determines whether an asset or a liability exists at a specific time. If it puts money in your pocket, it is a valuable asset. So, we think of our possessions as assets from time to time, but do you ever stop to consider whether they are giving you money or draining you out of it? A liability, on the other hand, is something that takes money from your pocket. When we think of obligations, we think of credit cards. You are pulling money out of your pocket every time you make a payment. When you make a mortgage payment, you are liable since it demands money from you until you own the property and it becomes an asset. Consider all of the many expenses that you incur that drain your bank account. These are all liabilities. So the question is, how to turn a liability into an asset? Financial Intelligence Rich Dad's definition of financial intelligence is the ability to convert cash or labor into assets that provide cash flow. This is why one of his favorite sayings is, Who is smarter, you or your money? For the rich dad, he believes that spending your life working hard to accumulate money, only to see it disappear at the same rate as it comes in, is not a sign of high intelligence. Always remember that wealthy people concentrate their efforts on building assets rather than working harder. Many educated people are exposed to considerable financial danger because of their lack of financial knowledge. The financial red line, as the rich dad called it, means that the monthly income and expenses are nearly the same. People like these cling desperately to their work and are unable to change when the economy shifts and frequently harm their health by fretting and stressing. These are frequently the same individuals who claim that business and investing are dangerous. Business and investment, according to Kiyosaki, are not risky. Being undereducated is the one that is risky. Being ignorant is also risky, and relying on safe and secure employment is the worst risk one may face. Purchasing an asset is not at all dangerous. What is dangerous is purchasing liabilities that have been misinterpreted as assets. So how exactly can you turn liabilities into assets? Cash flow management involves a high level of financial intelligence. If you convert a car into a taxi, it will earn you money every day and put money in your pocket. The car is no longer a liability because it now generates income rather than being a drain on your budget. To give you more ideas, here are other ways how you can convert liabilities into assets. 1. Stay away from wasteful people People can either be assets or liabilities in our lives. For instance, if you spend money on them every time they visit you without receiving anything in return, they become liabilities. In addition, you can also deplete your cash flow and go bankrupt by following incorrect advice from others, such as a financial advisor or a selfish and self-centered individual. Thus, avoid such people because being around them will cause you to spend more money. Rather than spending money on them, save it instead. Or you can also use the money to buy stocks, start a blog or podcast, or establish a business. This way, you can turn a liability into an asset and continue growing your money. 2. Make your vehicle a taxi Your car can only be a valuable asset if it brings you money. It's a liability as long as you spend money on it without receiving anything in return. To get extra money, why not convert the car into a taxi? You can use it to provide taxi services. Or you can also hire someone to work for you and pay you daily, weekly, or monthly depending on the terms of the agreement. 3. 
only take out loans to expand your company. Taking out a loan is generally seen as a sign of not being able to live within one's means. A loan is a burden, but it may be turned into an asset if you use it for the proper reasons. For instance, taking out a loan to grow or start a new business is acceptable. Always remember to not take out loans for products that will not profit you. Weddings, birthdays, anniversaries, and other events fall into this category. 4. Your house's unused rooms can be rented out. Renting out some of the empty rooms in the house you built or bought can provide a constant source of money that can be utilized to meet your personal needs, maintain the house, and in the long run, invest in more profitable ventures. Robert Kiyosaki's claim in Rich Dad Poor Dad that your house is not an asset sparked a lot of debate. According to reports, he has received more furious letters over that subject than any other in his novels. In his own words, Kiyosaki stated that when your banker claims your house is an asset, they are not lying to you. They are just not saying whose asset it really is. Your house is their asset. When you look at your bank statement, you can see who truly owns your house. The bank. The vast majority of people do not own a home but rather have mortgages. Mortgages do not appear in the asset column on a financial statement, as people who are financially savvy are aware. They have been classified as liabilities. However, because you pay interest to the bank every month, it appears on your banker's balance sheet as an asset. Kiyosaki's Rich Dad defines assets as anything that puts money in your pocket, while liabilities are anything that takes money out of your pocket. As I previously stated, if you look back at your bank statement every month, you'll notice that your home does not put any money in your pocket. Instead, it takes a lot out. This is true even if your house is paid off. Maintenance charges, taxes, and utilities must all be paid on a monthly basis, even after your mortgage is paid off. And if your property taxes are not paid, what do you think will happen? The government may be able to seize your home. So who really owns your house? We are not saying that you should avoid purchasing a house. Kiyosaki's purpose is to only show you that a house is a liability, not an asset. But that is your home, so treat it as such. Do not think of it as a ticket to a comfortable retirement as that can be found elsewhere. Knowing that your property is a liability rather than an asset is one of the most significant realities you should know. How Kim, Kiyosaki's ex-wife, converted a yacht into an asset. Kim, as soon as she decided she wanted a sailboat, began looking for ways to purchase one and turn it into an asset. She put it in a charter company instead of keeping it at a pier in Hawaii and just writing checks every month to pay for maintenance and the debt on it. The result? The boat is hired across the Hawaiian Islands when they are not using it. The income from that covers the costs of the yacht. The same thing happens to their vacation house in Hawaii. The house is lovely, but they don't spend much time there because they used to reside in Arizona. As a result, they rented the house out for thousands of dollars per day for most of the year. The house's expenses are readily covered by the cash flow generated by the rent. In short, they were able to convert their boat and turn their house from a liability into an asset. And that concludes today's video, guys. Do you have liabilities that you want to turn into an asset? What steps have you taken already to do that? Let us know in the comment section below. We'd love to hear your thoughts on this. And with that, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you've watched, stay tuned for more videos. Bye, financial buddies!